can choose doctor or you can do more <laughs> Behavior problems in young children are occurring in increasing frequency in most primary grade classrooms and early child care centers. Disruptive, uncooperative behavior in the classroom is stressful for teachers and other students. It takes time away from teachers' positive delivery of engaging lessons and prevents them from teaching fundamental academic skills. Wanu, you are being so patient. Give me a high five. You are waiting for a time. Evidence suggests that a teacher's classroom management skills and ability to strengthen young students' social and emotional skills are as critical for their school learning and academic achievement as their cognitive abilities. I like the way Griffin's looking at me. That means he's ready. The type of problems that I'm seeing in Head Start right now, they would be the social skills. Children lack social skills. They lack uh, the ability to problem solve. Um, they don't have the language. They don't have the tools that they need to get through those difficult times right now in their little lives. What's Tiny Turtle doing here? As well as a lot of English as a second language, of course. Three. Maybe come out can help you. I have taught kindergarten for 20 years now in a low-income school. I'm finding now that it's rare to find kids that have been in preschool and even Head Start. So I'm finding that the kids are coming in even more ill-prepared than they were 20 years ago. The social skill problems that they lack, they definitely interfere with their ability to concentrate, with their ability to stay engaged in activities, their ability to, to even be interested in learning. They were coming in with, with poor work habits, a lot of playground difficulties, and just a lot of disruptions in the classroom. When they come in in September, it's really hard for children to learn how to read because they haven't been exposed to a lot of language. We were just very excited about some more tools in our tool belt, basically, that we could use. And we were excited that somebody else was going to come in and teach it and then train us. Even as second graders, because the academic push is now younger and younger and younger, you know, they come without knowing how to problem solve. What do you think Molly should do? My experience in implementing that program is, first of all, it's really fun. And the kids learn things that sadly they haven't learned yet, even as eight-year-olds. And I would say in particular, the emotional regulation pieces um, and problem solving. Research with the Incredible Years series over the past three decades has shown that prevention and early intervention in the form of parent training programs results in fewer behavior problems and increased school readiness and social competence in young children. In addition, providing children with social and emotional education and teacher training and child management skills have been shown to reduce aggressive behavior in the classroom and promote positive peer interactions, problem solving, and students' engagement and learning. Oh, look at their trading. Oh, look at them trading. Am I doing good waiting? Oh, thanks. Helping and supporting teachers to prevent and interrupt the development of children's behavioral problems. Look at how patient Simran is being. And to promote their social confidence and emotional literacy. All right. Oh, oh, Gregory. Is one of the most effective ways to prevent future school dropout, violence, delinquency, and drug abuse. Corrine, Angie, and Spencer were watching you guys and we're saying that you guys are doing a great job. Nice work. Notice how quiet they are. Very nice work.